We now get to see Angel Barrientos, who is the twin brother of Chavez Barrientos, who is on our uh, prelim card over on FS1. And they are twin brothers, both 18 years old. Trayvon Lawson is 31. Barrientos 5'11 at 123. He is uh, long and lean for the weight class. Slight reach advantage, but again, an amateur star. Both the Barrientos brothers outstanding in the amateur ranks. National champions recently turned pro, and we get a chance to see Angel, the twin brother, in the ring here tonight. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Well, fans from the Shrine Auditorium Expo Hall here in downtown Los Angeles, Premier Boxing Champions presents our next attraction in the ring. Introducing our three judges scoring from ringside, we have Rudy Barragan, Alejandro Rochin, and Ron Scott Stevens. All right, fans, here we go. Six rounds of boxing in a battle of undefeated super bantamweights in the ring. Introducing to you first on my left, he is fighting out of the red corner, wearing white and purple trunks, joining us from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. He weighed in at 122 pounds. His record undefeated in his campaign of three wins, no losses. Two wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing Travon Lawson. His opponent across the ring is fighting out of the blue corner, wearing dark blue trunks with yellow trim, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada by way of Honolulu, Hawaii. He weighed in at 123 and one half pounds. He also is undefeated in his campaign. Four wins, no losses. Three wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing Angel Barriente. Our referee in charge now to give instructions, Eddie Hernandez Sr. Okay. Mouth, please. All right, gentlemen, I've been over the rules with you both. You're both professionals. I expect you to conduct yourself as such. Touch gloves. Good luck. Go. If you were watching us on FS1 uh, a little while ago, you saw Chavez Barrientos. And yes, Chavez is named after Julio Cesar Chavez. Chavez and his twin brother, Angel, here, trained by their father. And these two uh, trained and sparred with, and there's his brother watching. There's uh, Chavez watching from a distance. COVID protocols, can't be there ringside. But uh, Joe Goose and Chavez and Angel were main sparring partners for Javante Davis as he prepped for Leo Santa Cruz. So these guys, 18 years old, in the gym, they go up against the best in the world. Believe me, as an 18-year-old, if you say, I got to spar with Javante Davis, that's just, you know, a, a huge feather in your cap, and it's a great learning experience. But both of these guys, both brothers, the Perrientes brothers, have almost similar style. They're both great long punchers. Uh, they like to keep you at a distance if they can. They're good they're, and they're good counter punchers as well. If you touch them, they'll tag, play tag with you and tag you right back. But on the other hand, Lawson, look, Lawson is undefeated as well. He's, he's got three wins with two knockouts, and he's a pressure fighter. That's what his, his instincts are. And if he can get to you and close to you, he's a very strong guy. He'll work punches, but it's going to be Barry Entzels' job to keep you on the outside tonight. I'm going to call him Twin, if you guys don't mind. Yeah. Twin is fast. Yeah. And and he's using and he's using very good boxing ability right now. He's he's keeping Lawson on the outside. I don't see Lawson being able to get inside at all. Yeah, that's a hard jab from Barrientos as well as you can see. You're right, Joe. Law Lawson's very game. He's springy yeah. coming in, moves his head nicely. But again, you can see the class of Barrientos there with a three punch combination, beautifully done. Yeah, and, and a punch Barrientos missed uh, just about 30 seconds ago was a was a counter left hook. You know, he stepped back and he tries to drop a hook like that one right there. Ooh. If you throw a right hand and right there. Yeah. So that, that's his really go-to punch when he steps back, and he's really quick with it. Eventually, he'll probably land it, and let's see if it, it can hurt Lawson. Yeah, it'll be a jab, a small step back, and then the check hook. I, I, mm -hmm. I love that move by both twins. They, uh, they can use that rule very well mm -hmm. uh, through the course of a fight. You know, I think he got hit with that before, Sean, and, and Lawson never saw it. He had just bounced right off his head. He's like, whoa, where'd that come from? <laughs> that, yeah. that, I mean, 5'11", five, five man. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a tall guy for coming in at, uh, at you know, featherweight or super bantamweight if they come in at 122. And yeah. then on top of that, with a lot of speed, precision, and accuracy as well. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's tough to defend. Yeah, well, you know, they're only 18, and you know your your manpower is really going to come in mm -hmm. in the next couple years. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm wrong saying that. By the time you're 20, 21, 22, right. you're going to be doubly strong. So, right. you know, these guys are still uh, they're throwing wicked punches right now and knocking guys out just at 18 years old. The check hook, a punch that is thrown, it's a hook that's thrown moving back. 
we call it a checkup. Most time doesn't have much power, but imagine if those guys grow into their ministry and have power on the checkup. Right, right. You don't see that too often. Yeah. Lawson moving forward, trying to make things happen here, but uh, Angel Barrienta sharpshooting here in round number one. Scheduled for six, so there'll be some time in this fight to build up points or accumulate punishment either way. Very sharp in this first round. Nice action, actually. Lawson really bringing it, bringing a lot of energy, bringing a lot of fury uh, against the Another former chapter. amateur star. Ah. Earlier in the night, this is Chavez Barrientos, Angel's brother, going up against Paul Carroll of Columbia, South Carolina. And he took care of business against uh, a guy twice his age. There's Chavez there, who is uh, not allowed down ringside to see his brother. The red sweatshirt right there, that is Chavez. But his brother, Angel, who is 13 minutes younger, is down in the ring right now against Trayvon Lawson. Hey, Joe, I always wondered about that when you see twins. And, and one is 13 minutes older or 13 Stop minutes younger. That's a long 13 me. minutes, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, man. I guess for the mom. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I thought right. he said 13 seconds. Right. I'm like, right. I'm like, I wasn't long. That makes yeah. more sense right. to me, Sean. I, I don't have twins. <laughs> no. I have five kids, but no twins. But I wow, do. 13 uh, minutes. Oh, my God. Bri, I, I will tell you, we, we have a set of twins in our family. My, my, mom, yeah. my mom had 10 children. And... Um, my brother Michael Larry were twins, so I never. How bothered, far apart? I, I never bothered to ask her that question for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. <Yeah. laughs> As we see here again, uh, the purple trunks. That's Trayvon Lawson, three and zero, turned pro at twenty eight, coming out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and AK forty seven is Angel Barrientos, who is the more serious brother, right? And the, uh, Chavez said they say I'm way nicer as he steps under nicely there. That's what they say. And it, I mean, it looks like the younger brother, he looks a little meaner, a little yeah. more serious. AK-47 on the trunks, you know, and he, and he's shooting. Right. And he, <laughs> I mean, he's shooting with some serious, he's shooting some serious bullets. So, Sean, what did you say earlier? You said you had a good wor way of of, uh, of describing it. You said Chavez was a little more approachable. Was that uh, was that in the gym? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would see those guys out. I mean, e I, I, even right now, Angel saw me from a distance, and Dad said, "Hey, there's Sean," and he still really didn't say much, and, <laughs> you know. And then uh, you see uh, Chavez up top, and I look up at him, and he's waving at me, you know. He's, right, he's right. Just, he's the older, more mature, and, and, you know, and, but and, and nicer. Maybe brother. maybe it wasn't so much that he's mean, but he was, you know, maybe a little bit more shy, and, you know, come on, he probably looks up to you. And, I don't know, man. You know, he's he in probably, fight mode all the time. That's all I know. He what? He's in fight mode all the time. Well, yeah. okay, all right. Just a more serious uh, demeanor. Nothing right. wrong with it, you know. Okay. Round number two, you're right, but even look at this nickname, look, it, it, you know, AK-47, he's coming in, mean in business, hard right hand there by Barrientos. I love it, small steps back, he's not, he's not running, he's no. not using the entire range, small steps back just to keep that range and that distance so I can let go of this, <laughs> these punches. And you're right, and he's really kept Lawson at bay most of the night. Lawson, I've watched tape on him, and he was able to normally press guys like that, get inside, and then, you know, really reel off some combinations. He just hasn't been able to do that. And Barry Entis, for a tall guy, has been getting underneath punches yeah. and turning. Good He's defense, doing, really too. doing well. Good defense, too. Final second, like round number two. Good scrap between young guys. Angel Barrientos, again, that is an 18-year-old kid. 18-year-old uh, twin. His brother Chavez already with a win earlier tonight. Their father, Richard, is in the corner. And Angel uh, won three international tournaments, was an amateur star like his brother. Angel winning at 114 pounds. Again, uh, over a dozen national tournament wins. And they turn pro at 18 years old. And Joe Goosen, I guess uh, it just depends on the maturation of the fighter and what the whole family outlook is as to when you turn a kid pro, because that's very young. It is. It is. But, you know, look, I mean, there's only so long you can stay in the amateurs, especially if there isn't, you know, like an Olympic thing coming up or someplace where you feel you can, you know, get some more fame and fortune. But, you know, look, at 18 years old is really it's not untypical for guys to turn pro, especially back in my day. Most of the kids turned pro at 18, 19 years old. Uh, the Reynolds brothers, who both were champ 
one turned pro at 17 and the other one 18. So not too unusual. Mm -hmm. But uh, in this fight here, the, the corner for Lawson was just saying, look, you got to put on more pressure. You got to start going to the body more and getting, you know, getting something accomplished here because he feels like they're down two rounds right now, which I think they are as well. And this is only a six round fight. So if Lawson's going to get into it, see right there, don't let him off the ropes. See right there, you got to really track him. He let him come around and off the ropes and back to the center of the ring again. You're not going to get what you need done if you do that too often. Good hard trading there, and Lawson uh, got his, but you're right, Joe. When he was able to get Barrientos up on the ropes, he's able to land those body shots and then able to land in the exchange. But if he stays at distance, I mean, just look at the length of the arms from Barrientos. You're not, you've got to get within those arm reach. Absolutely. And, and so... <laughs> and Barrientos is not making him make, making it easy for him to do that. So, and look, a good right hand followed by a left uppercut with Barrientos. And Lawson really doesn't have a lot of answers unless he's right on top of you. He really doesn't do anything. See, it's a lot of slipping, then uh, an occasional punch to the body. But he's got to trap yeah. Barrientos. He's got to cut off the ring yeah. and force himself upon Barrientos. Yeah. I mean, from, from where I'm sitting at, I, I get it, and I know what you need to do. Ooh. That head's got to be on the bob, and you gotta you gotta yeah. be trapping this kid on the ropes, make getting rough, making him uncomfortable, like like, like that right, there. right. Push the kid out of the ring if you have to, but 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 ruffle him up. I mean, he's just Fuck. turning pro. He doesn't understand that kind of fight yet. What am and I talking gotta, about? I'm sitting next to the master <laughs> pressure fighter. I, mean, I, I I forget that. What a great pressure fighter you are. Oh, you oh. oh. What the heck? I'm Lawson holding on to Barrientos there, and uh, then they stayed okay, tangled up. Yeah. Okay, you all right? You okay? Oh, he said no. Time. Wait. Hey, do you want to start? You okay? Yeah. There you go? Yeah. Okay, come on. All right, got time here. Yeah, if we wanted to say, you never hear that, Joe. Are you right. okay? No. No, no. Uh, yeah, you, you can ask. I can, yeah, I'd like a second, actually. <laughs> he hit me Final seconds. Uh, by the way, coming up on my interview with Caleb Plant as he gets ready for Caleb Truax on January 30th. We'll talk Canelo as well. Back in Los Angeles, Canelo Alvarez dominant against Callum Smith. He says he wants to unify all the titles at 168 pounds in 2021. Caleb Plant's thoughts on that as he readies for Caleb Truax. Caleb Plant has one of those belts at 168, and he just seems to get better and better every fight. Here, six rounds scheduled, and this is round four. Trayvon Lawson in the purple trunks, Angel Barrientos in the blue with yellow, and it's been a good spirited action fight so far. Yeah, and, and you know, you got to remember, Barrientos was just warned for holding right there, and uh, he had a point taken away from him in the last fight for holding it later on in the fight. Ooh! Ah! Ah! Lawson moving in on Barrientos ah! now, and able to land that right hand, another right hand ah! lands for Lawson, and down goes Barrientos, a stunner. Four, five, six. This could be the beginning of the seven. end right now, because hey, there's a lot of time left okay? in this round. Chavez couldn't believe it. His brother, his twin brother, is upset. Oh, no, and he waved it over. Good. It's over. I'm good. No, you didn't look good. No, I'm good. Sorry. I'm good. Sit down, sit down, sit down, Angel. I'm good. Oh, wow. The referee didn't like the response okay. that he got from uh, Angel Barrientes. I'm surprised, though, Joe, again, you're ringside. Should that have been stopped? Well, I, I will tell you this. Under today's, you know, the, the way that the commission's implementing the rules right now, you have to respond in a certain way. They're not going to take any chances. That kid took three solid right hands, yeah. and the last one went down hard. Mm -hmm. Now, you have two minutes left in that round, and the referee goes, if I let uh, Lawson come back after him, this kid is hurt right now. Now it's on me. Now it's exactly. Yeah. So he may have done the kid a favor by stopping that fight, to tell you the truth. We got talent too, baby. Wow, see, remember. there's Trayvon Lawson. He he can't believe it. I mean, he came in fighting hard, but you know he's up against it. He's the he is the opponent here. He turned pro at here 28. Go. This going was my thing. Him. Lawson, what are you going to do to change this fight? I said, you got to pressure this kid and rough him up. Didn't want to see it happen, but it started to happen. Some clean punches, especially the big right hand, another one right here. Another big right hand. That was the one that put him down. It was clean right on the chin. Yeah. And that was tough to watch. Now, look, he's struggling to get up. He's, his equilibrium is not even there right now. And let's see what the ref does. He's looking. He's up to six. He's up to seven. He says, come here. And he doesn't really respond. He doesn't come to him. And he didn't like wow. what he saw in his eyes. And he figured he was really going to be vulnerable to some harsh punishment dealt out by Lawson. He might have done him a favor. 
Sean, do you agree with that? I Should agree. that have been stopped? I agree. Uh, I'm, I mean, honestly, man, my heart is hurting right now. Yeah. I've known these kids since they were about 11 years old. Yeah. And I would see, I saw them everywhere. And they were always telling me that they were going to be here one day. So it was hard to see. But like he said, like like Joe said, the, the ref very well may have saved his career. Definitely may have saved his life right there because it could have gotten worse. Yeah. It's not going to get better. No. It's going to get worse. Yeah. Huge win for Trayvon Lawson there. 4-0. And you know what? To your point, Sean, Trayvon Lawson never stopped punching. He, he just he buzzed him with that right hand. And that one really landed Ooh, solidly. Man. And then the one to put him down snapped his neck back. Referee saw that. And Chavez Barrientes, uh, that is not what he expected here tonight. A stunner in L.A. Eddie Hernandez Sr. calls a halt to it. And it was a stunner here. Trayvon Lawson there, the big right hand to put Angel Barrientes down. And fellas, uh, Lawson really showed a lot to finish off this prospect. Yeah, you got long arms like that. And you're trying to grab a guy. You basically just open yourself up for a punch like that. And it was clean as can be. He, it started off with a left hook and a right hand, OK? He got hit with six yeah. right hands there, yeah. all right? And the last one was the coup de gras, and believe me, he was in no condition to continue. There were two minutes left. I just, six, I just counted. Yeah. Six right hands. Yeah. I mean, you, you can't take that yeah. and expect, no. and expect to get up no. and still continue. Brian, what eight, do you eight. think? Yeah, I, I, it just seemed early, but you're right. The way his head snapped back late, and this is an 18-year-old kid, uh, it, it, it makes sense, but that is not what was expected. His father, Richard, in there, and Angel certainly wanted to continue. I thought he'd recover, but no way of knowing now. Eddie Hernandez stops it. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Well, fans, we have the time of 55 seconds in round number four. A referee in charge, Eddie Hernandez Sr. stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout and still undefeated, Travon Lawson. Trayvon Lawson, look, he comes up from Tuscaloosa. He knows he's in a certain spot. And, you know, he knew he was up against it earlier. Again, Barrientes is a sharp puncher, crisp, classy, all of that. But Trayvon oh, Lawson, to his credit, uh, did not play opponent here tonight. Kept on punching, and he gets a shocking knockout win.